Hey guys, Henning and Morton from Flip Normals here. In this video, we are going to show you the timeline feature in ZBrush and how to use it to present your work. This is something we're both using a lot whenever mm -hmm. it comes to presenting work in for dailies and production and all that kind of stuff. So it's a fairly quick and easy way to, to do it. It's just a really nice way to always make sure that you can present your model from the same view mm -hmm. every time. Yeah. There are a couple different ways to do this, but the timeline is by far the easiest we found. Yeah, exactly. So it's like, let's say you want to present Mr. Godzilla here. We did a video on him. Rest uh, in peace. Video died. <laughs> Didn't work out. Rest <laughs> in peace indeed. So um, let's say you want to present this this work here to um, to your supervisors and you um, you want to have it be in the exact same spot every single time. So you can like overlay it and you can mm -hmm. see the exact changes which have been done. That's kind of hard to actually do. You sure you can present like this and do a screen grab of it, but next time it might be down here in a different scale. Yeah. So that's not great. So using the timeline feature in ZBrush, you can um, we can just store this. So if you go under movies, and we have timeline, and let's just dock this guy over here. So now we can hit show, and now we get this little timeline. This is pretty cool. And now you can animate in ZBrush. Whoa! Well, at, le at least that was something they told us we could do, I think. But <laughs> yeah. I didn't, it didn't work out that well. No. <laughs> so what you can do, you can set a key by clicking the button, or just clicking anywhere here. And then you can uh, rotate this guy. Hold on a shift key just to snap it. And you can set another key. And you can move in the middle here. My god, and we have animation in ZBrush. Mind blown. Mind blown. And now you can hit here to create another key. And now we have three keys here. So what you can do now, you can hit the, the arrow keys to go between these keys here now. Right, left. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Not up and down. <laughs> so um, this is re this is really the essence of it. Yeah. You essentially, you make some keys. You find the angles you want. Let's say you want something like super close up like this. And you're like, yeah, let's do that. So now you can just do this. You can save the view. Yeah. And... Um, and then you can delete them again if you don't if you don't really need them. You just drag them down. Hold them, just drag it down and here. Gone. So the way I'm usually presenting this is I'm usually doing the front view, click, then I'm doing uh, uh, the side view, put it in, into place, click, in the back, click, do the other side, click, and then for the front again, I'm just going because uh, now you can see we're doing this, and then for front again, I'm just doing going back here to it, and then I'm just putting that at the end. So now we have uh, now we have a turntable here. So now we can just click in the center on this, go to where you want it, click, 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 and then we can delete the last one because there was no point in having the last one be the same. And now suddenly we have a turntable of this. Super easy. This is often how we, we just do it because yeah. we don't necessarily want like a full 360 turntable. We just mm. want like eight images or 10 images or so. Yeah. Just because uh, they're still images, we're going to review them. Still, still. Anyway, yeah. And then you can do at the end. You can do like you can do some close-ups. Close -ups, yeah. Boom. Boom. And what I'm also doing when it comes to saving stuff out is you go here, and uh, uh, you want to save these out. So the way you do this is you go under Document and just Export, and now you can just save these out here. You can just save this out as uh, .png, um, but and then, then I usually just do 1001 or 01, so like that, and the next one. But the problem is this is a bit annoying. So clicking here all the time. So I'm just mapping this to a hotkey. Mm. Control Alt to click on it. Set the hotkey. I use Control Q. So now we have this. Now we can just go to the next one. Uh, so we go here and next one. Control Q. Hit O2. Next one. O O3. Next one. O4. Yeah. And I think you get the gist. Yeah. After a while. <laughs> so now we can just go through them in um, afterwards and just show people these pictures. So if you want to sh if you want to save this because this isn't saved if you store as a tool you can just go under timeline here movie timeline hit save and then you can store this and if you want to load this in again you mm -hmm. just go to timeline load and you get this exact same in again yeah which so usually I work in we do, we work a little different usually I work in projects and mm -hmm. projects will will save your timeline yeah so um, just depends on how you're working really yeah exactly whatever we prefer so. Uh, Super quick tip on how to use timelines in ZBrush. Excellent. Cool. <laughs> Thanks, guys. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers.